Yep. I'm going to read it. Okay. I'm Jamie, aka Dream Logician, and this is Hero of Alexandria by Drury. It's a jam entry. Learn actual Greek history with the most famous Greek engineer of all time, Hero of Alexandria. Discover his greatest inventions. Kill Romans. Hear nothing. <laughs> all right. Um, we're in New York State. Sorry, I shouldn't be reading the chat as well. Um, controls, arrow keys are WSD to move and jump, space or X to shoot, and optionally one through four keys to switch weapons, although not sure why you'd want to. <laughs> All right, if you're not sure, I'm definitely not. Objective, survive till T0, that's all. All right. Sounds cool. It definitely looks cool from the screenshots. Uh, let's give it a try. Uh, more info. Run it anyway. <laughs> He's in Rhode Island. You're having a storm party like us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're having. Uncharacteristically nice weather yeah. <laughs> here, here in upstate New York. And yet, we're going to stay indoors yeah. and play these video games. That's how dedicated we are. To be fair, the laser cutter really sure made it sound like a storm outside. Yeah. Oh my goodness, why? Uh, Give me a minute. Okay. We just reset for 10 minutes. Yeah, we just completely ignore the virus cares. <laughs> <laughs> Critical Shut advice. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, let's go for it. Are you ready to be a hero? <laughs> I am. <laughs> uh, t uh, oh, wow. Weird. Oh, okay. Okay. Ancient. I like <laughs> that. Ancient. That's a good Nicely thing. done. I need to learn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to hop right in because I've, I've read some instructions already. Oh, screen shake. You gotta have it. Uh, hmm. Up doesn't... Oh. I always do this with your arrow keys, Taro. I missed the up arrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I had the same problem with the last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so heroic. Oh, wow. That's... Look at this oh, heroism. I like all those crates. Oh, wow. Oh, man. No. Wow. So shaky. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Give this another attempt. This time we'll use W A S and D. I'm sure that was my problem last time. That's what you get. Man, look at all those Romans like. No! Look at all those Romans valiantly running into your sword. <laughs> They're the real heroes. Right. That is very satisfying looking though. It looks like he <laughs> is slamming everything. Yeah. <laughs> I would argue that screen shapes are a little dangerous in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I mean, they always help. No. <laughs> oh, it's over. Woo. <laughs> so. I'm not sure. There we go. Okay. Oh, we shot them? Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that a gun? I think it's supposed to be arrows. Oh, okay. Super historically accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's an inventor. Right. right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sneak up behind him. All right, so about screen shakes. I consider screen shakes to be relatively, uh, not relatively, a little dangerous. And when I say a little bit, I don't mean like the tire is dangerous or anything like that. But um, it is disorienting. Yeah. Uh, these are very small, but even then, I would. It's on every swing, though. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> So like wherever possible, I would recommend doing it when it actually hits an enemy versus when right now like it's, just it's on every swing, which is not good. Mm -hmm. in this Those flashes are really oh, satisfying. I want to yeah. build up my Caesar's rage. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if that's going to be good or bad. <laughs> yeah, those, those flashes where you, when you hit are really satisfying to see. So it's a good job on there. Yeah, I don't. 
So, um, Taro, I'm going to give a plug for you and your Make It Juicy presentation yep. where you talk about things like Screen Shake. Don't you try to kind of add in a little bit of variation um, to those sorts of things? Because I find, like, yes. the frequency of it and the, like, it becomes a little monotonous to me where it, it almost, like, loses its effect when it's um, on every single attack and it's kind of the same every time. So to answer your question... Uh, no, I don't do variations, but now that you mentioned that, I probably should. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe that was thinking of the sound effect thing. Oh, you got a machine gun. <laughs> hey, all right. Uh, been back into a corner here. <laughs> you can go. You can get your seizure rage, right? Seizure rage uh, controls how many uh, Romans uh, uh, spawn, basically. So. Oh, it's over. <laughs> it's a mix. It's yeah. over. <laughs> <laughs> I must survive. T zero says T zero's rage controls how often Romans spawn. Mm -hmm. It's kind of good because more Romans means more lead means better guns. It's also kind of bad because Romans kill you. <laughs> it's good life advice. Run <laughs> <laughs> away from Romans with shields and spears. This whole thing was actually a metaphor for life. <laughs> you know. I think I learned a lot today <laughs> about Greeks and Romans and seizures. Yeah. <laughs> that was a terrible pun. All right, this is my time. <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> the the knockback is interesting. Where it's like well, you have a lot of range. I need to pay more attention to how the knockback works. It seems like sometimes I hit them and then they're they're still coming at me like they're they're knocked back slightly and then it almost looks like they're bounced forward or something. Like, <laughs> yeah. These are my excuses for dying. <laughs> <laughs> more than game design analyses. Do these shotguns have piercing attribute? Nope, they don't. I think that would well, I guess it Looks like one at a time to me. <laughs> yeah, Anthony's really into it. <laughs> he started to beatbox. Oh, it's in the No! <laughs> I got phalanxed. He was oh. slapping the button. <laughs> Gotta slap that button. That's what you have to do. That's how you be a hero. Knockback is only on the sword, so you can easily kill them even though sword is crap damage. Oh, that actually makes a lot of sense. Mm. It's really satisfying to see I think it yeah. has. There was some game that was in uh, the Independent Games Festival in the past few years that had this sort of a look to it. It's a cool look. It had the sort of like... Aesthetic. Yeah, of like an, I don't know, like a Grecian urn or something. I don't know how to describe <laughs> that. Exactly. Yeah, there was. Yeah. It's cool. I like the look. It was similar. It seemed like very much like an action game like this. <laughs> I do like how when you gain a new... Weapon oh, yeah. says Eureka. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. done. No. <laughs> Skills. <laughs> oh, no, you're down. No. This time. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can you stand on the floor? I, I don't think so, because that's what I was trying to do. It seemed like it just killed me when I touched him. That would actually be interesting. That would be cool. Oh, yeah, if you could just walk on them. Yeah. All right, I'm going to give this one last try and then I'm gonna be merciful to people who are watching me try. <laughs> it's so fun to watch so <laughs> this time it also um, it reminds me of joust <laughs> I think just something about the look and the levels <laughs> like is this just, is it just me or does it not have any graphics for uh, indicating the range of the sword because like the sword has a lot a huge range which is good but at the same time, it makes me go like, that kind of doesn't seem like a lot. The thing that's kind of interesting is like, visually at least, it seems like the shotgun does more damage than the machine gun. Yeah. 
It does kind of feel that way. Machine gun, at least you can hold down the key, which is kind of nice <laughs> when you're getting swarmed. <laughs> you're right, it does. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't visually look like it actually does, which is good. Never considered you could stand on the turtle formation dudes. <laughs> I think that would be... Uh, <laughs> it's, over. it's over. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> Not oh, that little... That's a good send-off. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna shake. I just want to see... Right. <laughs> I'm curious what that little green force field is. Okay. I did it. Okay. <laughs> So comments? Uh, it was fun. I I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how much else I have to say about it that I haven't already said. I, I like the art style a lot. Um, I think it was well paced and well balanced. Like, I didn't, I never really. Uh, I had that quality that some games like uh, Super Hexagon have had for me, where it's like, it's a challenging, but it's very quick to restart when I die, and uh, I feel like I don't have to play for too long to get back to where I was, so death doesn't feel <laughs> overly punitive. Um, so that was nice. Um, I wanted to be able to jump on top of the phalanx. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would that would add like a little extra level of, uh, you know, I don't know. I, just, I wanted a little bit more that I could do, I guess, once I dug myself into a corner um, to be able to fight my way out of it. and. Probably I could get out of it, but I didn't. I never managed to. So. Um. Just says I'd like to see a bloody gore version. <laughs> that too. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Good work. <laughs> <laughs>